Hi guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today is a day that I've been super excited about because after 10 months of waiting, I'm able to introduce the JSB Knockouts in 177. The Knockouts has been out in 22 and 25 for quite some time now and it seems like people are super excited about them. So I have great expectations for the ones in the 177. The Knockouts comes in two different weights. The light one is weighing in at 10.03 grains with a BC of 0.046. The heavy one weighs in at 13.43 grain with a BC of 0.066. Until now I've been shooting the NSAs in 12.5 and 15 grains and they just perform really well. Uh, but sometimes it seems like the 12.5 is a bit on the light side and the 15 grains just needs a lot of red pressure to be shot at the velocities where it's the most accurate. So I hope that the knockouts will be the ones to hit that sweet spot right in between. I'll be testing the knockouts today uh, for accuracy in my FX Impact Mark II with an STX barrel. And since slugs generally like to be shot fast, I'll be testing them in the range between 900 and 1000 feet per second. When I'm done testing for accuracy, I'll test to see how it performs as a hunting slug. Recently I made a video where I tested 10 different kinds of pellets and slugs to see how they performed as hunting ammunition. And I'll be testing the knockouts in the exact same way. But more about that when we're done with the accuracy testing. So for now, let's go to the range and start the testing. Okay, before I start shooting, I just want to show you my setup. Back here. I have my shelter set up. Very nice to have, especially in the winter here in Denmark where it gets quite cold. And then all the way back here, 30 meters away, I have the target set up. So let's begin. Now I'm set up and all ready to go. I've attached the FX Crony to the gun and I'll be measuring the velocities using that. Um, the settings on my gun, uh, the regulator I have on uh, about 120 and the preload on the hammer spring is 16.85 millimeters. I'll be testing uh, through the settings so uh, one, two, three and four and when we're done with that uh, we can see if, uh, if further testing is necessary. Okay, let's start out at uh, power setting number one. The crony is on, camera at the target is on, so five shots. Not too bad. Let's continue to power setting number two. Too bad. An average of 955. Continuing to power level number three. That was bad. Here, I'm just going to place another one. Hmm. 
there was one that got away uh, so I added another one um, the average speed was uh, 976 continuing to power level number four Wow. Wow. Ah, got away. Nine hundred. Nice one again. Nine hundred. Ninety-three. One thousand. Nine hundred. Ninety-one. One thousand. That's strange. Seems like two of them got away. Hmm. Maybe the velocity was a, a bit too high. The average was uh, 994. Let's go and measure it up. So these are the results on power setting 1, 2, 3 and 4. And to be honest, I can't say that I'm too impressed by any of them. Especially not the one on power setting number 3, where a slug either got away from me or it was a bad slug, I really couldn't tell. So what to do from here? Recently I posted a video on how to add extra settings to your power wheel. And right now it just might come in handy. I think I'll go for the setting between 3 and 4 and set the power wheel on 3 and a half. So now trying with the power wheel on 3 and a half to see if it's uh, any better than the other settings. That's that's just amazing. <laughs> that was much better. A group on 30 meters at 17 millimeters, that's definitely acceptable. And with even more fine tuning, I'm pretty sure that we can get the group down below 10 millimeters. A velocity of 985 feet per second, that is high. So going for some of the other half settings would not be a bad idea. But for now, I'll stick with the 985 and I'm very excited to see how it performs when I get to the longer distances. Now that we're done with the accuracy testing, let's see how uh, the GSB knockout performs as hunting ammunition. I recently did a test on nine different kinds of pellets and slugs to see how they performed against the bar of clay on 20 meters. I was measuring uh, how much it penetrated, how large a cavity it made and how much the ammunition expanded. Uh, I'll test uh, the knockout in the same way and it's on uh, 20 meters. I will recommend you to go back to my channel and check out that video because it's actually pretty extensive so check that out. Uh, also uh, I'm, I'm mentioning that I'm shooting uh, with a power setting on 3.5. I did a video where I showed you how to add extra settings to your power wheel. Uh, it's very simple but check out the video it has helped me uh, quite a lot but uh, let's start the testing <laughs> that looked kind of funny okay i think i'll try it again okay this was the result of the knockout hitting the clay not exactly what i expected uh, of the cavity uh, so um, it looks like the entry was uh, perfect but it just threw the whole thing apart so I think I'll patch it up again and shoot it uh, from the other side and perhaps a little lower okay let's try that again I must admit it looked kind of funny but um, yeah let's see how it performs uh, this time I think I'll hit it uh, a little lower this time Maybe remember to load the gun. Hmm. Looks amazing. Okay, let's go check it out. The slug penetrated the clay for 9.3 centimeters and it left a cavity of more than 46 millimeters. 
the expansion of the slug was 10.21 millimeters, and compared to the others in the previous test, JSB made a clean knockout. So, now to the conclusion of this uh, accuracy test. Uh, we definitely found a good velocity for it at uh, 885, but could uh, we have fine-tuned ourselves uh, into a, a better group? I think we could. Um, and uh, could it be faster? Could it be slower? I don't know. We might. Uh, you have to figure that out by yourself. Um, but for a slug, I think um, that the group here on, uh, on 30 meters uh, with uh, 17 millimeters was uh, pretty acceptable. Um, but the right test has to be done at further distances. So uh, if you stick around and subscribe to my channel, uh, I'll guarantee that somewhere in a very near future, I'll be uh, testing these slugs at uh, 100 meters as well. So stick around for that. As for um, the knockouts as uh, hunting ammunition, um, I think they definitely proved that they're, <laughs> that they're capable. They didn't penetrate as deep. Uh, as, uh, as the NSA slugs, and they expanded much more. So that shows a lot of potential, I think. So now to the big question. Are they better than the NSAs? Well, uh, for accuracy, I would say it's, uh, it's about the same. I've been shooting the NSAs for quite some time, and uh, I, I've made groups that are like these groups, I've made better groups, I've made worse groups. Uh, so uh, all in all, I would say they're they are about the same on 30 meters. But once again, they are going to stand the trial at 100 meters because uh, this is where the slugs uh, really come uh, to prove their point. So what are my final thoughts on, on this? Well, uh, with the price of uh, NSAs being more than double uh, the knockouts, and uh, the difference, at least here in the garden, uh, hardly uh, measurable, I would definitely go for the knockouts uh, in the future. But I have some NSA in the, in the closet, and uh, when, I'm, when I've used those, uh, I might buy some more, uh, who knows. But my final thoughts are that uh, the knockouts definitely pass the test, and will I be buying more of these? Definitely. I just bought a heck of a lot of them, so I'm looking so much forward to shooting them in the future. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, uh, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. And that being said, take care, shoot safe.